for children to buy and carry machetes under urgent new laws to fight Victoria's youth crime crisis. There will also be significant penalties to anyone caught selling the weapons to minors, as Blake Johnson explains. The amended legislation will classify machetes as controlled weapons. That'll mean anyone under the age of 18 cannot buy, possess or use one without a lawful excuse. Machetes have featured in some of the violent attacks featuring young criminals across Melbourne. A 16-year-old was stabbed in the neck and killed in an attack in Sunshine in May last year. Police have asked for this change. Police feel that uh, there is ambiguity when they enforce the law. It's a $23,000 fine to unlawfully carry a controlled weapon. But the onus will also be on retailers who will now need to check for ID when selling machetes. A fine of more than $3,800 applies to anyone who sells a controlled weapon to someone under 18. Look, it's not going to solve it overnight, but it's a start in the right direction. Youth worker Les Twentyman has been pushing for this change for years. We haven't seen the legislation as yet, and I'm sure I'll be going through it with a fine tooth comb. But we have said openly, machetes should be a prohibited weapon. The opposition has also been pushing the government for change. This is a bill that they mocked as a joke and a political stunt just in November last year. Both sides now agree machetes are too dangerous in the hands of young criminals. Most people don't need to be walking down the street carrying uh, machetes. There is no reason any person should be walking along the Yarra River in Melbourne with a machete. They have a very, very limited and distinct purpose on farms. Police will also be given new powers to issue firearm prohibition notices in the mail. Currently, that has to be done in person, which can be difficult if that person is trying to evade police.